Hi guys, welcome to another video. I have seen so many contradicting videos regarding what you have to do in order to get a Hermes bag, a quota bag, that you have to spend thousands and thousands of pounds on things that you don't want in order to be offered a bag. The fact that you have to play a game with Hermes, the fact that you will never get the actual bag that you want. You have to put down a sort of vague idea and they will maybe offer you something similar but different and the fact you have to take it otherwise you will never be offered again. There was a video by Sophie Shahet which I will link um, above and below. She is, she is trying to start her Hermes journey so I thought now was a good time to tell you my <laughs> my side of this and tell you it's not all as it seems so keep watching so you want a Birkin or a Kelly or a Constance or even an Evelyn or a garden party or any of the others and yes you think I'm going to have a look on YouTube and I'm going to see what I have to do because I don't want to go in store. It's far too intimidating. I want some knowledge first. So you watch a lot of YouTube videos and they tell you every sort of contradicting information. And at the end of it, you know, you know, wiser. So is my video going to be another one to add to the list? Well, possibly and probably. However, what I'm going to do is tell you my story, how I managed to get the Hermes bags that I have, how I did it, whether I had to play a game, how much money I had to spend and all of that. In certain countries, there, there are different rules. There definitely are. I can only tell you my story. So I did reach out to Sophie Shohet and ask her if she wanted a little bit of um, guidance and advice from me because yeah, she's trying to find out what the system is. And she has said in her video that she has deliberately not gone to that brand because she didn't want to play the game. So she's written them off way before. And actually there is a bag that she really likes, which is the Constance. And yeah, and actually she's now gone into store, got chatting to a very nice sales associate and hopefully she's now on a journey, we will see. So this is my beautiful Kelly. This was my absolute dream, dream bag. It's the Kelly in Togo leather. It's the Ritone style, which is more relaxed. It's in Gris Etan and it's got palladium hardware. I wanted this exact bag and I got this exact bag within four weeks and I am not I'm not kidding and I had zero zero purchase history when I say zero I mean nothing significant I think my husband had bought a belt I think and I think I'd bought some earrings how did I get this bag after spending nothing literally spend no purchase history having not played a game, having not had somebody to introduce me to somebody in there. I didn't have a friend who knew somebody who got me in. There was none of that. This was literally me walking into store, having a conversation and four weeks later, this was ready for me. So myself and my husband were in London and I can't remember exactly, one of us wanted to look at belts. We were very fortunate <laughs> that, it's funny how these things happen, we were very fortunate that the lady who was serving us with the belt, it was her first ever day working at Hermes and she didn't understand how the belts worked, as in they were all sort of clipped onto like a security tag and they were on the hook on the shop floor. And I think it was myself, I think I was then trying needed to know which uh, size so I needed to try one on and she was trying to take the security tag off one of them off the shop floor in order for me to try it and one of her colleagues saw her came running over and really told her off not in a really bad way but basically you don't do that you don't do that you go get a measuring tape from the back and then you use that etc anyway she went to find the measuring tape 
and that allowed us a little bit of time with the guy who came over and he was just very chatty and lovely and luckily for us the lady who was serving us was gone for so long <laughs> trying to find the <laughs> measuring tape that it gave myself and my husband we were just chatting with the guy and chatting about the weather and nothing and as I was chatting to him I saw an orange box pass me by <laughs> behind me and another sales associate was carrying it through and I, I just watched it go and I thought I wonder what's in there and I just said to him I wonder what is in there and he said oh well you never know and I said oh one day I would love my own orange box just that size and he laughed and I laughed and that broke the ice that was it and we got chatting and I then said to him can I actually ask you a question that I've never dared ask before and he was saying of course and I said if I were to one day be fortunate enough to be offered a bag what is the system could you just explain to me what the system is because there's so much misinformation I just wonder if you could help me and he said yes you need to come in just keep coming in and if there's something available you can have it simple as that and it's not as simple as that is it obviously anyway as we got chatting we just got on really really well and at the end of the appointment when we we're paying for the belt because finally she'd found the belt and the measuring tape and we'd done all of that and he then said to me this is the person you need to speak to and pointed this gentleman out and said come back tomorrow and yes yeah, so we went back the following day and yeah he said yeah I can't take your details it's not a wait list you are a wish list you just have to keep coming in and if there happens to be something you just keep coming in and ask and you know the more often you come in the more chance and I said I'm really sorry I don't live anywhere near London we're here on holiday is there any chance I could put my details down anyway it's a very long story but eventually he said ring me when you get home in two or three days ring me and he gave me his card so we'd moved on to that in the same appointment he offered me a Evelyn and he said to me what is your um, what would your wish be if you were able to get a Hermes bag and I said this one I asked for this combination and he went into the back and he found an Evelyn in Griotan and it was in the size 29 and it was in Epsom leather and I didn't like it I love the colour and I quite like the Evelyn but my goodness in Epsom leather it was stiff and boxy it needs to be Clemence for me does um, the Evelyn anyway he could see I didn't love it and he said no it's not for you and I said oh and I knew well I thought in my head if I turn this down I will never get this one so I had a choice to make that in that moment and I made the choice which has served me well for my entire life in whatever field whatever you're doing don't buy something that you don't want don't do it for the means to an end don't do it it's a waste of money so I stuck true to myself and I said it's just not for me I think I will wait until there is a possibility of one of these and I do not mind how long I have to wait I would just be very very grateful if you would consider me at some point so he said that was the end of the conversation so he said ring me when you get home I rang the number on the card the card was the customer services number they said oh no you can't be put through to the store it doesn't work like that so I said that he'd asked me to call so they said they will give him a message I thought I would never hear from him again about 20 minutes later he rang me and we had a lovely conversation and he asked me to do an email and put my wish on the email and I sent him an email he sent me one back saying he'd received it and he would do his best and 
four weeks later I had an email saying this exact combination was ready for me to collect should I want it and I went from literally walking in the store to owning one of these in four weeks I literally couldn't believe it it's a whole story about going to collect this and everything else but yeah so that is my start of my Hermes journey now in those days you didn't have a wish list you just used to email your contact I had put on my wish list quite a while after this because obviously they're very expensive so I had emailed him at a point where I could afford another one and I said I would love a Birkin or a Kelly in black it had to be black that's the the quintessential the yeah the perfect bag for me open to any hardware um, 28 or 30 in the sizes and yeah and then he said he would do his best and I think about two weeks later we happened to be going back to London so I emailed him and said we will um, maybe pop in and just say hello and he said yes come in it'll be lovely to see you we walked in and he said I don't have a bag for you and I said I don't expect you to have a bag for me I'm so grateful for, for you getting me this and please um, the, uh, we're in no rush we just happen to be in London and we're not in London very often so I was just coming to say hello so he said well I don't have a black bag he said but bear with me a second and he came back with this one and he said I he said I cannot there isn't a black one but there is this beautiful blue and he offered me either this one or the exact same one in the colour gold which is the tan colour which is a beautiful colour bag but no as soon as I saw this this was the one for me so this is blue onk so that was my next bag and I won't go through the story of every single bag because I've been fortunate enough to get quite a few however my purchase history in between buying these two was nothing when I bought this I also bought a twilly to go with this and I think that's all I bought I think when I bought this one I don't think I bought a twilly but I bought some earrings and a necklace but there were only ones that what that I was gonna buy anyway I will not buy something I don't want um, so I hadn't had any major purchases these are major purchases in themselves I hadn't had anything different to these two it wasn't as if I in the meantime was spending a lot a lot with him and then he's thinking oh I will you know offer her another bag because she is spending I literally and throughout all the bags I have and I have seven I have seven Hermes bags now I have bought a couple of pairs of earrings I'm trying to think what else I've bought I've bought another click H bracelet I think that's about it honestly um, a scarf I bought a scarf so I've only bought the things that I would have bought anyway I haven't bought any fine jewelry I haven't bought any ready to wear I haven't spent thousands and thousands and thousands I have only spent what the bags are my journey has been very much due to the relationship I have or had with my sales associate because he just wanted to look after me I don't know why I think it was just because we got on really well he knew I was genuinely um, interested in the brand I'm a genuine hopefully I'm a genuine person who loves the brand and was very felt very honored to be offered them and I wasn't going to play the game I was very honest about that I wasn't going to play any game um, and every single time other than other than this one which was I was after the black one but he brought this out and said I he could offer me this one on the day and obviously I took that one so that wasn't a wish list item but about but about maybe three or four months later something like that he then called me and said I have a black Kelly would you like it because I know that you're after black before so 
it might have even only been a couple of months after so within definitely a year I, ha I definitely had three bags in in the first 12 months so and that is unheard of it really is without any purchase history or anything so what I'm trying to say is that there is no set system where you have to spend a certain amount to get into a certain tier in order to be offered something that is an absolute definite because I didn't now whether I just was very lucky to find a sales associate that wanted to help me and that is very rare I don't know but that is my experience when my sales associate left I was gutted because he was amazing however he passed me to another sales associate who was equally amazing because I then thought that's probably the end of my journey now because this new person has no idea who I am and this new person may want me to spend X amount, which I'm not going to. And actually, it wasn't the case at all. He carried on where the other guy left off and I ended up, yeah, every, it got to the point where every six months I had an offer and it was exactly, exactly what I'd asked for, down to the hardware, the size, everything. So I've never once compromised and I have a video where I have shown you on the video that I have turned down about five different bags where in between the wish list items he's messaged me or emailed me or I've been in store and he's basically said I have this would you like it and I've said no if it isn't what I want and it hasn't stopped me getting the next wish list item so do not buy something you don't want to try and get yourself a buying history and trying to get yourself up the ladder because you may find, and I know people this has happened to, they have done that and they still haven't received an offer or the offer is not what they want either. So please, please don't waste money on things that you don't need. The system now, very quickly I'll, I'll just tell you what the system is now it used to be send an email put the sort of things you want they'd make a note of it they had their own systems to do that now it's all automated you have a set amount of time that your wish list lasts for you can put i was able to put two or three things on my wish list don't think they're supposed to do that but i was able to um so it's basically a little computer system it's like an app and you go on it with your sales associate and it has to be done in store and you say the type of thing that you want so you would choose Birkin 25 you want it with gold hardware or you might say they open to any hardware and then you would put three I think you could put like three or four different color ranges down so you would say reds blues uh, blacks I don't want greens I don't want yellows or whatever else so you can be you have to be a little bit more specific than you did on the email system um, your wish list lasts for I think it's eight months and once it um, expires then it's gone you can go back in store and you can redo your wish and it can be the exact same thing if you didn't receive the item or so at that point you have yeah, you can either set it up again or you can decide to completely change it because you might have changed your view by then. Um, if you want to change it in the interim, of course you can. I've managed to do mine a few times just over WhatsApp, but I think that's down to the sales associate and what they'll let you do. Most of the time they want you to go into store to do that, so make an appointment. Um, so that is my story. Yeah, I have not played a game. I have not spent, I've spent a lot of money at Hermes, but only on the actual bags. And then a couple of Twillies. I did buy the Rodea to go with this one, but I, or the Pegasus, but I wanted that. I didn't want it, I wouldn't have bought it. So there was no pressure to buy anything in between. There was no pressure to buy lots of things when you're picking this up. There just wasn't, there never has been for me. So. Yeah, when I hear these horror stories, I think, yes, that does happen to some people. However, it puts so many people off because they think that is what's happened. And actually, it isn't necessarily the case. So my advice is go into store, 
whichever store you feel most comfortable in and just do what I did. Strike up a, a relationship with a sales associate if you can. Ask them in a very polite way. Don't be aggressive because you will get nowhere. Believe me, I've seen it. I've seen it happen. So just be yourself and just ask, what is this? You know, please may I just see what is the system if I did really want a Birkin? What is the system? What do I need to do? Um, can you give me some advice? And that is where I started. So we're talking four years ago, something like that, maybe about four years ago. I have seven Hermes bags now. So I'll say that oh, I'm very, very, very lucky. So that is, that's how it works. So if any of you guys have a different experience to me, let's put them in the comments so that everyone else can see how different places, maybe I know there's a different system seems to be in America um, where there seems to, you need to have um, more of a, a, an annual spend or something. It's not the case here, it just isn't. So yeah, let me know what your guys' experience is and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on another one.